everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm trying some different Broly lights, um, so I don't know how it's going to look. But today, um, I've, I've gotten a little mini haul from Beauty Bay. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a rant. Um, I'll just get straight to the point and then, you know. So please subscribe to my channel, please. And click the like button and the notifications bell and you will get frequent notifications that I am absolutely online doing new videos. Okay, so I only got three things from Beauty Bay. Now, I've been looking all over for some nice brushes because obviously if I think if you have rubbish brushes you find it really hard to blend your eye, oh excuse me, I'm going the wrong way, blend your eye makeup in. This is what I've been reading online and on YouTube as well. So I got myself some Spectrum brushes. Here they are. Um, it's the eye set. That's doing my head in. It's a little hair that's sticking out and I don't know why. Anyway, it's the, the eye set eight brushes for 30 pounds off Beauty Bay. Now they come in a little clear bag, you know, little bag. And then they had all the little cellophane covers on the brushes. Yeah, I've used, I've used three of them this morning, just to put me, me eye makeup on, which is the, the Elf Mad for Matte Summer Breeze 2 palette. Love it, absolutely love it. And the lips I have is me Elf Praline. You like it? Um, Rimmel, the trio, highlight, blush, br sorry, bronzer and brush, bl brush, blusher. And this is it here. I did try some contouring, but I'll get onto that in a minute because I have never contoured before. So if I look a bit odd, just please let me know. We, you know, odder than normal. Anyway, back to this. Um, the beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They're so soft, and I did find that blending them, my eyeshadow in, was a hell of a lot easier. Um, the only qualm I do have now, I don't know if it's just me could be a few other people, I don't know, is when it come in a clear plastic bag, there was absolutely diddly squat, nothing else with the brushes. No little information sheet, nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like how to take care of your brushes instructions or how to wash your brushes or what the hell the brushes are used for? Because all I've got is numbers, Spectrum CO6. Okay, Spectrum CO6, what am I supposed to use that for? I have to go online and look it up exactly what brushes are used for. Now if I come in with a little information sheet and tell you which brush is which, that's fine, but I, had, I didn't even come with that. So that's got me knocked because I paid 30 quid for these brushes. I mean, to me, 30 pounds a lot of money at the minute for me for some brushes. But I thought I'd give myself a treat because I wanted to see if it's any difference in having cheap chatty eBay ones to some good ones, and I know Spectrum do do some good eyes. Uh, well, all brushes nearly dropped it, but they are super soft. I mean, hang on, I'll use a one I haven't, I don't think I've used yet. I probably have, but I don't know. But see, this one is the BO6. BO6? This is it here, and it absolutely, sorry, I'm trying to, it's beautiful. It's so, so soft. So, I would recommend getting them if you haven't already got them. I'm probably late on the bandwagon as normal, but I just wish there was an information pack in the clear plastic bag that you got them in. Just just to give you some information on how to look after them and to, yeah, you know what I mean? I know what the hell the brush is used for. Cause not all of us know on what number. Oh right, I know that number. I don't. Anyway, but beautiful. I'm gonna get more. But I might just go on the Spectrum website and see what they've got on there. The next thing I got was the LA Girl Pro Contour Cream Highlight and Contour. This is it here. It's a cream. Now, I was a bit dubious because I've never contoured before. Um, I have done a little bit around here, here, on my shin, my shin, my chin, my cupid's bow, definitely under the eyes, but I, I, I don't know, I don't know whether, because 
I have a lot of creasing under the eyes to start with so I had to really set it so I'm going to see how it goes during the day but that's it there um, the highlight cream you've really got to work at it there it is there can you see that I mean you really got to it's not well it is but it's not you know I use my sponge um, to blend it in I used a brush to put it on and I, I felt like I was doing that you know so it's like pulling your skin like that to get it on but that could be just me because that's, this is my first time contouring that's why I only got this because it's only seven pounds and I thought there's no way on this planet I'm gonna buy an expensive contour kit you know where you've got different shades and all that malarkey I didn't want to spend that because I might not like the contour part I don't know whether it's cream to go for or powder to go for with have drying skin I thought going for cream would be better then I saw this color I'm like ooh, it looks a bit orange but actually it I mean I don't know if you can see it did blend in quite nicely just it did feel a bit orangey see I mean I did give a good swatch there but there you go do you see how it looks quite orange um so I don't know if I'm just getting the wrong colour. But I did put it on, but I just put it on lightly and then I blended it in with uh, the Beauty Blender. So I don't know. So can somebody inform me if what is the best thing to use for contour for people with dry skin? Is it cream, is it better, or is it powder? Because I know a lot of people like to use powder and a lot of people like to use creams. That's the highlight. I really do like the highlight and it does highlight the area. I'm just a bit worried about the creasing. So I hope I've set it enough. Oh, you know. But this is what it's all about, isn't it, people? Learning by your mistakes. As she speaks. I'm not sure about these lights. I've gotten I've got the, you know, the brolly lights, but it's the silver on the inside where I've got the other lights. The brolly, sorry, this is the other brolly light. I the the brolly bar you I usually norm norm poor oh my god, just slap as daft. I usually use this one, um, but I thought I'd give the other ones a go to see oh, what the heck is going on there. See, I've just tied my hair back because it needs doing. I washed it and it's gone tightly green. But hair, I don't mind. Better than grey. Well, no. Okay, the last thing I got. Now, this was only £5.50 and I thought, why the hell not? Well, have a laugh because I am actually going to do a video with this product. Um, but obviously I'll have to pause it and then come back because it's 20 to 40 minutes you keep it on your face. So better do some good. But it's called Golden Snail Hydro Gel Mask 24K Gold Mucin and Gold Nutrition. This is it here. That's off Beauty Bay. Now it says after cleansing and apply toner, remove film and apply to top and bottom portion of the mask on the face. Apply top portion around the eyes, so it's obviously going to come in two sections, and then the bottom portion around the mouth. After 20 to 40 minutes, remove this the mask and gently tap in to absorb remaining essence. So, I'm wondering if there's really good. Um, it says it's for. I can't, it's from Skin 79. That's the that's that's who's on uh, Beauty Bay. Now, um, it says it's for anti-wrinkle, nutrition, lifting, and whitening. What's it going to whiten? I mean, I don't know if you're going to see that. Can you see that there? Hang on. There. Sorry, I need my nails doing. I know, I'm sitting, I'm terrible. This is why I normally don't know where nail polish, because I peel it off. But I need to do it and I need to get my nails cut all the same lengths because I've got different length nails. Yeah, so it's skanky. It's horrible. I'm sorry. I'll get it done, I promise you, for the next video. Hopefully. So, yes, this is 24 hour co cold gold mask. So, I want to give this a go. I will do it as a video so we can all have a giggle at us um, and see how it goes. So I think it's going to be like this part here and then you put this part here. And then leave it on for 20 to 40 minutes so I'm gonna leave it on as long as possible because I have very sensitive skin so I thought I'll give this a go to see how it goes for sensitive skin 
So we will do that on the next one. Okay, we'll have a giggle. All right, now, something I bought a while back and I thought I'd give it another go. Um, it's the Barry M Brow Wow Pencil in medium. Light, medium light. No, sorry, light to medium. Now, I've got on my brows today. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but I don't, I've gone off it. I don't know what's happened. But, as I was putting it on, my brows, I, obviously I used the spoolie, that's the spoolie there. Hang on, I'll zoom you back in. Sorry guys, I'm going to get a yo today, because I'm just, <laughs> that's the spoolie, okay? Um, so I spoolie my brows first, and then I went in with this. Now, I, at first I did like it. I was really quite chuffed with it because it was inexpensive. You know what I mean? You don't mind when it's not going to cost you the arm and the leg. But that's the end. Hang on, let me camera focus. Can you see? Right, now, as I was applying it, come on, focus camera. Thank you. As I was applying it onto my brows, there was little clumps on my brows. And I'm looking, I'm going, what on earth is that? And it's just like little black bits in my brow. So I had to keep brushing it out and brushing it out and then putting it back in and brushing it out again. And I mean, I, I haven't set my eyebrows, but it actually feels I've got, you know, the, um, the Anastasia gel stuff, well, not even just the Anastasia one, anyone where it's a gel to set it to keep it in place that's what I feel like I've put on but I haven't I've just put this on it's a very waxy consistency it's it's I don't know I'm gonna see if I can see if I can show you guys that's not gonna show you right I mean it looks creamy and I mean it is but I was getting little clumps of stuff and the eyebrows actually feel very waxy I've as I've touched them there's like little bits coming off uh, every time I was putting it on my brows so this is going to go in the bin which is a shame because I did like it at first so I don't know what's happened I don't know I sat in the sun for too long or it's because I the first time I used it it was nice and sharp and stuff and then I had to resharpen it because that's done after a resharpen and since I've resharpened it it's a pile of rubbish it's just bitsy and I mean I was getting black bits falling on my face here um, so well not black bits you know little bits of whatever it was so it's rubbish ah uh, I wouldn't recommend it the first one yes first couple of goes till you have to sharpen it and then everything seems to go pear shape so that's gonna go in the bin even my little girl said she wouldn't want it even though I wouldn't give her it anyway anyway so there we go love the spectrum brushes beautiful just wish they had some little care instructions and telling you which brush each number on the brush on the piece of paper what on earth you use them for because well yeah well, you know shouldn't I have that anyway but there we go so I hope you enjoyed my video today I wasn't just you know a norm oh I've got the elf highlighter baked highlighter on as well I quite like it I've scraped it. So click the like button, please subscribe before you go, go. S subscribe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, love you all. Be safe wherever you are. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.